and here filmed straight off my computer screen is a simulation I did of the fall of the other tower the North Tower go to editor there's a simulation the top part of the structure was quite heavily braced it had a top hat brace in there this simulator doesn't allow me to use long struts I've had to use cables but it amounts to the same thing the top of the building stays rigid there are all the columns that were bent when the aeroplane hit it and as the fire continued to rage they got weaker and weaker and weaker until they couldn't stand up anymore because uh, steel suffers and heat and uh, let me run the test there we go let's run it in slow motion reset the overheating steel finally gives way the top of the building starts to drop down and as it does so it starts to fall behind the outer wall there as you can see on the television pictures the top of the tower just drops down behind the outer wall and then as it continues to drop down the uh, it takes everything to speed it up again it takes everything out underneath it interesting thing to note that when the columns let go they release so much energy into the rest of the structure they go with a bang as each column comes under pressure it squashes because it's slightly springy steel is flexible and then when it finally breaks it releases the energy of a pent up spring and uh, that sends shockwaves right through the whole building that uh, sounds like explosions. The shock, we actually see the shockwaves in the simulator as each strut comes under stress and basically explodes it uh, sends shockwaves through the rest of the structure which you can actually see as it uh, breaks up. And I'll run it in uh, normal speed Go again. There we go. We'll have a look at that bit one more time in slow motion. Let's slow it down and reset it. That's the point of failure. And that's when the gunners finally give up and they just crumple as the damaged floors finally give way the top of the building just sets off straight down and uh, as it does so it falls through the rest of the tower demolishing everything in its path And that's it. The two of humanity's most amazing buildings reduced to, well, not very much. Um, uh, God bless those people. One more time. The real tower had the mast on it. But I didn't have room on the simulator to actually fit the mast in. The structure was as tall as the simulator would allow. Um, it's actually a, uh, a simulation, a structural simulation thing called uh, Pontifex. Pontifex means bridge builder in, uh, in Latin. It's designed for bridges, but it actually works rather well for towers. Um, look up Pontifex. There's a free demo version which is very good, um, but I couldn't lay out, I couldn't use it to lay out the uh, foundations for the towers so I had to buy the bought version which is quite cheap by $19 or so uh, fun wonderful game um, definitely on my list of top 10 videos everyone should play at least once uh, very very clever game very clever thing altogether um, 
there. If you go to the edit screen, I've got phone and the mouse. There, there's the edit screen where you actually put your building together. You see, I've simulated all the broken columns there. You click on what you want: heavy steel, light steel, and then you can just add things. So you can add a bit sticking out there. Or Find a bit sticking out there. And then when you run the simulation, you see there's the bit I've just stuck on. And uh, let see if your creation stands up or not. And obviously this one didn't because uh, it was simulated the damage of the uh, sequence of events that brought down the Twin Towers. Right, that's it.